Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're taking a look at the Cable Special Edition 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from Deadpool 2. The box is a standard slipcover design. The dominant graphic on the front is a high key image of the Cable's 6 scale figure itself, superimposed over graphical rays in alternating matte gray and glossy umber that leave the impression that Cable is traveling through the time stream. Running parallel to the direction of these rays is some white text identifying the figure, and the Deadpool 2 title graces the image on the lower left. The image wraps around to either side of the slipcover, where it is superimposed by a Deadpool logo and the same white identifying text we saw on the front. Removing the slipcover just barely gives collectors their first glimpse at their new figure, as well as its wealth of accessories, through a window cut into the front of the box. Coming around to either side will reveal a disturbing image of Cable's daughter's teddy bear over a field of grainy bronze hues. And continuing to the back, we find a three-quarter image of the Cable six-scale figure, his right hand resting on the butt of a holstered pistol. Once you rip open that box, you'll find the black plastic clamshell with the Cable figure resting right there in the center. Before removing the clamshell's cover, that figure was partially obscured by this energy shield. Other accessories that come with the figure include an additional six swap-out hands, a knife, an assortment of weapon magazines, a time travel device, a bomb, three grenades, and three guns. Lifting up that weapons tray will also reveal Cable's signature poncho, and there's also a haunting little teddy bear tucked in up here in the corner. Finally, just beneath his legs, you can catch the barest glimpse of the Hot Toys standard hexagonal base. And here we have all those accessories laid out and ready for posing. You can see here the aforementioned six swap out hands, two for the right and four cybernetic hands for the left. All the way over here, you see we have three guns and their ammunition, as well as the knife. And back over here, we have the bomb, the time travel device, the teddy bear, the shield, and the poncho. Now let's take a closer look at the cable six scale figure, starting with the head. The portrait showcases an authentic likeness of Josh Brolin as Nathan Summers, aka Cable, as seen in the film, all chiseled and scarred. Highlights of the portrait include the fine details on the paintwork, such as the close cropped hair on his lower scalp and the seamless way in which it blends with the lengthier locks on the top. Moving down to the torso, Cable is clad in an umber hued shirt that's a bit worse for wear, over which he sports a black molly vest. The molly straps can be used to affix the spare magazines to the vest, and the left shoulder strap includes three loops for holding the 40mm grenades. The right arm features sculpted veins and painted hair, and the left arm has loads of rich cybernetic details evocative of 90s comic book style. The teddy bear can be attached to the figure's softwoods belt, and both pistols will drop into the respective holsters on the right. The dark gray fabric pants are tactical, with an angled cargo pocket on either side and are tucked into the tops of Cable's boots. The boots themselves are split and will allow for a great range of motion. All right, now let's take a look at what this figure can do. The head rests on a single jointed sculpted neck, allowing for a bit of dynamic posing. There's a terrific amount of lift and drop to the chin. The head can also tilt about 30 degrees to either side and it will rotate as much as you need it to. The shoulders on the muscular figure body will achieve 90 degrees of lateral lift and can be rotated to either the anterior or posterior a full 360 degrees. The single jointed elbows of each arm can achieve 90 degrees of flex and can rotate freely at the elbow. The torso will give you almost 30 degrees of ab crunch and will bend backwards to a similar extent. There's also a respectable amount of lean to either side and about 30 degrees of torso twist. The legs will raise laterally a full 90 degrees allowing cable to do the splits and to the front nearly 90 degrees as well as a few small degrees to the back. The lightly ratcheted double jointed knees will flex all the way back. Both legs will also rotate thanks to a joint at the thigh. And as predicted, the cut boot single ball joint combo allows for a comfortable degree of extension, contraction, pronation, and supination. 
All right, now taking a super detailed look at the accessories that are included with the figure, starting with his weapons. Cable's characteristic BFG is an awe-inspiring hodgepodge of weapons from different eras. Cable's handgun can either be wielded or rest comfortably in its holster. And this little grenade launcher packs a punch in the film that's disproportionate to its size. The shield is an incomplete circle comprised of several interconnected hexagons and is sculpted with impact splashes from incoming fire. The poncho is a deep military green fabric and it features wires in the hood and along the entire front length for dynamic posing. The burnt areas of the teddy bear are nicely painted and it does a fine job of telling Cable's dark origin story all on its own. Likewise, the paint apps on the 40mm grenades, the time machine, the bomb, the knife, and all of the magazines are all highly detailed. In addition to the pair of relaxed hands that come attached to the figure, you can also swap out for any of these extra hands. They include two organic hands, one trigger finger and one fist, two gloved cybernetic hands, one fist and one for gripping the big gun, and two ungloved cybernetic hands, one trigger finger and one relaxed. And finally, here's a closer look at the graphical elements on that hexagonal base. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Cable Special Edition 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from Deadpool 2. Be sure to like and subscribe and tune in to Unsealed and Revealed for a weekly dose of 6 scale shenanigans. If you'd like more information about this figure, follow the link below. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Did you enjoy that video? Be sure to subscribe by hitting the S icon on your screen and click the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.